So I'm the education director of the Northwest Film Forum, and I plan and execute year-round programming geared towards youth, young adults, and emerging filmmakers who are looking to enter the film industry or learn how to tell their own stories using video and film as a medium. So for me, my career journey uh, started back in high school when I took my first video class. I was really interested in cameras and how to, how to take photographs at the time. I was just starting to learn how to tell stories through video. When I got to college at the University of Washington, I majored in digital art and experimental media along with American Ethnic Studies. And that allowed me to both learn about an array of stories from a bunch of communities in the United States and how people come to the United States and make, make new lives here. And then also how to use the, the tools of film, cameras, lights, microphones, performances to tell stories. And for me in college, it was really about blending those two things together. When I left college, I didn't know how to turn those studies into a job until I met uh, somebody that I consider to be my mentor. Her name is Amy Enzer. She was a, a documentary film editor. I've been working in sort of the documentary film industry now for about 14 years, give or take, and have always wanted to find a way to help impact younger filmmakers who were coming through a similar path that I was in terms of not knowing how to navigate the industry, not knowing how to find work. And so when I found this opportunity to jump into the Northwest Film Forum as an education director, I was super excited about it and have been working over the past uh, six months to start to continue the education programs that have currently been established, but then also finding new ways to mentor young people and to provide as many educational opportunities for people that are that are interested in, in filmmaking as a, as a career or as a hobby. I was born and raised in Seattle, Washington. Going into college specifically, I think the biggest challenge for me was A, both finding my interests and then for my specific area of study, it was what they call a competitive major. So there was an application process. They, they only allowed a limited number of, of people to be accepted into the program every year. And so I did not actually make it into the program my first year of application. And so I had to make a decision at that point. Do I wait a year and reapply? Do I try to find another major that I could get into or something different? I personally made the decision to, to hold out for another year. I took some more classes. I, I improved my portfolio and was able to get in on a second application that did delay my graduation to college, which had financial ramifications, but to me it was worth it. So in college, my career trajectory was to become either a film director or to be a working artist um, in kind of a gallery situation. And, and I focused all of my attention into that. And when I graduated, what I came to find out about myself was that I really enjoyed interacting with people, telling their stories. And so that inevitably led me to documentary work. And I remember when I first started working with Amy Enzer, uh, she uh, brought me along on a couple of film shoots that she was doing and seeing the way that she interacted with the subjects of that, of that project, the way that she interacted with her team, that was for me the turning point to say that that is the way that I wanna work, that is the way that I want to interact with people. Those are the kind of stories that I wanna tell. And so I've been incredibly grateful to, to her and to, to meeting her. And it's really hammered home for me the importance of mentorship, why it is so important for, for young people to find mentors and role models that can help you develop your 
vision for what you want your career to be. My advice to, to, to any, young, any young person, any young filmmaker, any young artist is to, to find people who are working in the field that you are interested in and learn from them. Finding mentors, finding role models is so critically important. 